prophecy. I pray in America because they see protest. They pray in Jerusalem. Tell us who's front and center there, who's showing up. Hey, Alex. Yeah, so just in the last hour or so, more individuals have started to show up, more armed individuals. I'm just going to show you here our great photog, Mark Ringo, is going to show you the crowd. You've got uh, individuals with long guns, and you have some others who are much more heavily armed. You see the gentleman in the red shirt there. He's got a long gun, uh, another with a long gun, a handgun, and several magazines. I've counted at least a dozen or so of these more heavily armed individuals. Of course, concealed carry is also allowed here in Michigan, so some may be carrying uh, uh, arms that we are not able to see. Uh, several dozen people here. Right now, though, it does seem that uh, the number of uh, security personnel, the National Guard, the Michigan State Police, the Lansing Police, uh, number the number uh, of demonstrators. And uh, Alex, this kind of site is not uncommon here in Michigan. This is an open carry state. Most of the protests here at the Capitol have seen uh, armed individuals here in the past. Though uh, when I was covering these sorts of rallies here in the lead up to the election, uh, it's interesting to see a bit of a shift that's happened in the last couple of weeks here. I did reach out to some of my militia contacts from uh, last year, asking them if they were going to be here today. They said absolutely not. That includes the American Patriot Council, Alex, which is a group that organized some of the bigger rallies we saw on the Capitol last year. I also spoke to the head of the Southeast Michigan Volunteer Militia, who just a few days ago was saying that he and his members were going to be here, that there might be thousands of demonstrators here armed protesting. Well, I spoke to him last night. He was at his uh, vacation home quite far away from here. He said he wanted to get as far away from the Capitol as possible without having to go to Canada because he was concerned about what he might see here today. He was getting intel from some of his sources that the Boogaloo Boys and the Proud Boys would be here, and we are seeing some of those members, the Hawaiian shirts indicating uh, potential uh, Boogaloo Boy members. Uh, he was concerned about what they might do, uh, and he did not want the militia to be associated with anything that might happen here today. Take a listen to some of that conversation. Any violence that would erupt would instantly be blamed on militia, whether we were there or not, whether we took part in it or not. And um, with elements within the new administration already keen on uh, gun limits, uh, uh, infringements on the Second Amendment, and anti-militia sentiment to begin with. We, we don't need that kind of crackdown right now. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.